So what about the delete one? What do we have to change to make that one work? Well, let's do a delete here. Well, I'll select the delete and this is Bill. I'll just do a delete and Bill is gone. Okay, it seemed to be working, but did we actually clean up the database as expected? Remember, it's not enough to just remove Bill from here. Now ID1 is gone. I also want to make sure that actually ID1 is gone inside the person wish database, right? So let's have a look at the database data. First of all, let's have a look at if Bill is actually gone from our data. And it seems so. ID1 is gone, no more bill. So that seems to be running. Okay, let's look at the wishes. If we actually did remove something there, nothing should have been changed there. Nothing has changed. Beautiful, seems to be running. Let's have a look at the person wishes because that's the one we need to clean up. Is there any person ID1 in here? No, that's gone as well. So it worked. It figured out itself the empty framework to also clean up the person wishes data. Whee! No problems there. So what did we actually do when we did the delete? Well, Let's just put in some breakpoints, just to do a very quick recap here, because there's not a lot more to tell. So I'll just spend a few seconds explaining that before we end this. We have this get set up here, and we have a post. So let me just real briefly show you what's going on. So doing the get here, when I do the delete the first time, I'm actually not deleting anything. I'm just hitting the get request for the delete with a specific ID, and then I can go in and pull out the specific person I want to delete and send him back to the view. And then you can look at the delete view. We also talked about this earlier, so you can go back and watch those videos. So if I press continue here, you'll see now it pops up with the delete view. Do you want to delete this person? Yeah, I do. I want to delete Joe. So I'll say delete, and now I hit the delete confirmed view, which has an action name of delete, and it's a HTTP post request. I put in the ID of the person I want to delete again. It's person two. I, I hit the delete in the person manager, just like we did before as well. Let's go to the person manager and have a look what the delete actually does. Let me start up in this abstract manager. It just pretty simple. It goes in and it reads everything to make sure that the person is, is already in the database. If he's not there, we just don't delete him, right? If he is there, we call the delete function and then we save changes. Okay, let's go into the to the person manager and see what the delete function actually does. Pretty simple. It finds the found it, the entity we want to delete and then it sets the state of that entity into deleted. That's all we have to do. We're done. It saves the changes inside the abstract manager, and we just I just showed you that it actually also deletes all the relations between the wishes and the actual um, persons. And one thing it doesn't do that is cool <laughs> is it doesn't start deleting the wishes. And that's very nice because we do not want to end up deleting the wishes just because we're deleting the persons in our case. So everything works out of the box. So we're done. We're done. We have a CROT set up now for many to many relations. Everything is running. So that's the Fluent API you have to do for many to many, and then a lot of other twerks that we have to do. We're done with many to many CRUD setup. See you in the next lesson.